All right, here we go. First round of the waste spot, 390 grams of number five plastic. And I broke it all down, put it in the waste spot, setting up here, gonna light it up using a long match. I don't have one of those butane lighters with a flexible nozzle. You're about to see here why I don't think that's necessary though. Uh, the propane was flowing for a few seconds and then something exciting happened, you'll see. So I'm pretty sure you can just use standard matches and uh, put them on the top of the waste spot. Put your f face away. Whoosh! Yes, there we go. It's all lit up. And I sped a video up so you don't have to watch it for 30 minutes. Uh, I misread the thermometer, the thermocouples for the first few minutes, so I thought it was reading 200 degrees and it's only reading 32 degrees, so I turned the heat down. Then I got I figured out what I was doing wrong. I was reading it wrong, so I turned the heat back up and sped things up. So you're about to see a transition for the first seven minutes, and then we'll be watching the next, you know, from seven minutes into the run. So there it goes, 200 degrees. We've got vapor clouds in all four down cylinders, all, th all four columns, somewhere around 350, I think. It starts to make fuel. Uh, so you can kind of see the, the clouds vaping down. We're at 330. This video also is at 10x. There's the fuel comes up at 350 degrees. We've got up to 370. Still making fuel on number one. Number two is coming in now. Number two is coming in at 330 degrees, maybe 310, 315 degrees. You can see fuel coming in on four as well. We don't have a thermal couple on four. Actually, I misread that. The yeah, okay. So we don't have a thermal couple on. Um, so uh, the, the column three or column four yet. I haven't purchased those yet. Um, but then fuel sort of hangs out here. We make fuel at 430, 424, sort of equalizes out. The number two thermal couple, which is in the retort, um, sort of the catalyst port, is always reading low, uh, which is a suspect. I, I don't understand that. We'll have to see how that goes for other runs. It, doesn't make sense to me that it goes down there and then back up in column one, which is the third thermocouple measurement. Thermocouple is always turning off every few minutes, uh, which is why you see Ben in the videos turning it back on, and you see me doing the same thing. We're not we're just resetting it because it auto offs, which is irritating. Um, there I am checking the heat on everything, and then I I fire it up a little bit more. It's been at three four fifty for a while, so I. I bring it up to try to burn off some more fuel or you know generate some more fuel don't really see any more coming into the columns what you do see is the bubbler going so sometimes I zoom back a little bit you might be able to see the uh, the bubbler on the far right of the image there so we're making more gas uh, I sort of anticipated going until gas bubbles didn't go for a minute it just took too long so I eventually turned it off the run went and had dinner and came back to pour off the fuels into a coffee can that I had tarred out on my scale. That was a mistake. Uh, column one had turned into sludge, basically, and didn't really pour out. I had to disassemble the machine and push it out. The rest of the fuels went in, and then I mixed them all together. Still pretty sludgy. 230 grams out for 390 grams in, a fuel realization rate of about 60%. Thanks, we're going to try some number six plastics with a catalyst next.